Dr. Sella here, and oversimplifying zone option once and for all. First of all, it starts off with admitting the fact, really admitting two things. Number one, 95 plus percent of the time, the quarterback keeps the ball in zone option anyway. And number two, when zone option began, it began as a reach scheme where everywhere the tackle was reaching number one, the guard was reaching the B-gap player, the center was reaching the A-gap player. Then eventually, Navy figured out if you bring the receiver in and double flex and you crush the C-gap player, you build the wall in the C-gap, and now everybody can block it much easier, and really it becomes more of a gap scheme. But it can even be taken a step further, and there's things that Army has done to take it a step further. So first of all, if you get into the double flex formation, which we'll shorten it by saying the word flex, you bring your receivers in three and a half feet away from the tackles. Everybody but Army, Air Force and Navy are at balanced feet now, narrower than shoulder width apart, knuckles in the knees. So pretty much, uh, they're three and a half feet away. They line up as deep as they can by law to give ground to get the angle that they need to cancel the gap. And here's what's happening. The receiver... All, his job is block whoever's in the C-gap. If there's nobody in the C-gap, there's no 4, 5, 7 technique, then he veers. The tackle has the B-gap. If there's no 2, 3, or 4-I, he veers. The guard in the center have the play side A-gap. So pretty much, if there's a 2-I, a 1, or a 0, they're going to ace it, and they're going to double whoever's there. So this will be an ace-ace an ace, ace, ace call. Center's going to snap the ball. He's going to step with his left foot and his right hand. He's going to put his right hand to the backside part of the zero technique stomach while the guard gets his near knee through the crotch, near hand to the stomach, and takes four inch northbound steps. The backside guard sprints his belly button through the hip of the center, which cancels the backside A gap. Backside tackle sprints his belly button through the guard, which cancels the backside B gap, while the receiver sprints through the goalpost, cutting off the half field to the third player. The A back is going to step with his left foot first. He's going to come tight off the receiver's block, and he's going to block the mic to the free safety. Now, I draw this against a triple stack defense because so many coaches are scared of the big, bad triple stack defense. So he comes off the block, and he'll get his left knee, left hand, and take four inch northbound steps through the mic. If he easy stunted, he easy stunts into the tackle, and he'll end up on the mic to the free safety because of the triple stack defense. You got two mics. The B-back's going to kick the first threat off the receiver's block. Going to put his helmet to the left, right for him through number two and drive him out of bounds. A-back leaves at the snap, runs the pitch to occupy the corner. He could end up coming off that and stocking him. Army's the only one that does that. Navy Air Force do not. Quarterback takes the snap. He takes about six steps to the right and turns it up. The whole goal is that he's trying to steal second base and then hit the home run off the receiver's block. So... If you want to oversimplify zone option once and for all, that's how you do it. You get into flex, you concede to running the kick, and then receiver's got the C gap, tackle's got the B gap, guard and center of the play set A gap. He's got the backside A, he's got the backside B. And you just kick the guy off the receiver and run in the alley. And there you go. And then he becomes the load player. So that's that. All right, coaches, you want to win more games in 2021, give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail. My website's on the thumbnail. I help people win more games every year. I helped the school in Oklahoma win the state championship last year. Talk soon.